Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Guys, Ace Money here, Sportsbook Robbery, 17th of June, going to Game 5. Uh, Mavs are going back to Celtics. Celtics didn't get the sweep, obviously. Uh, had off games. Very hard to beat a team four times in a row. You know, I kind of thought they would, but they didn't. Uh, lines opened up. Big difference this game than last game. We got Mavs at plus seven. Over on the 209 and a half. And Mavs with the underdogs at plus 230. Celtics opened at minus 285. Lines are uh, dropped a little, stayed the same. You can find them at plus six and a half across the board. Uh, over under went up a little, 210, 210 and a half. And the odds on the money line, 220, 210, 205, 215, minus 262, 250. But, uh, yeah, Celtics probably going to close it out. If they're hitting their threes, uh, Mavs out hustled them. They did everything. Celtics didn't hit the threes. Just the hustle plays, 50-50 balls, uh, they just worked harder. We picked Kyrie for the under on his rebounds and assists. That man was running for every ball possible. It was crazy. It's always the opposite, too. Like, the finals are hard. Uh, highly televised games are hard, important games, very hard to bet on. Uh, all eyes are on them. Single, like, odds makers are, you know, they're right to the points. And then, especially in finals, you never know what's going to happen. Coach is going to do and change, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, these finals definitely have been tough. But uh, hopefully, we get through it. Uh, let's get into these player props. Ace money to name, get paid big game. It's one hundred five. I played it on DraftKings minus one ten. Definitely a line shot. Sixty three percent hit rate for the year. Last five, 60% hit rate. He had a little slump uh, 20 games ago for a while, but uh, he seemed to come out of it these last couple games. Played a lot of minutes last game because the blowout, but he's on that second line, and uh, coach always gives him a shot. I like his points and rebounds. I couldn't get it right now. The DraftKings had it, then they took it away at seven and a half. If you could find it, take it. Rather that, the best play altogether. But I also played his rebounds over two and a half at uh, plus 120, 124. So uh, he's gone over this as well. Pretty good. Uh, last five games, 60%. Head to head, 63%. And uh, for the year, 60%. So. Getting, he don't get a lot of minutes, but he gets enough, 15 minutes or so. Like I said, last game he got a lot more because of the blowout. But he's out there, he's hustling, uh, shooting for them loose balls in 50-50s, and uh, he's doing his job, and I expect the Celtics to really perform today. So we got Sam Hauser on his, on his three-pointers over one and a half, and on his rebounds over two and a half. But if you could find his points plus rebounds at seven and a half, I would take that. Horford over one and a half threes. Uh, we don't know what status Porzingis day to day. Might play, might not play. But uh, definitely Horford's going to play. Like I said, that bad shooting game last game. You know, whether they're good or bad, they put up them threes anyway. I'm expecting them to go over this to come at home, two days rest. Had to head 63% for the year, just about 50. Uh, little yo-yo, hit it, missed it, hit it, missed it. So if that stays in fact too, uh, looks like he's going to hit it this game. But uh, he's going out that up and down, I think he's going to hit it. They need him to hit it. 
No. Horford, one and a half threes. All right, so we're going to go with uh, Lively points and rebounds over 17 and a half. Minus 115 on FanDuel. Uh, line shop, line shop, line shop. Uh, last 10 games, 60% hit rate, head to head, 50 for the year, about 40. Uh, it was a little rough the first couple games. You know, he's a young kid, big uh, stage in front of him, but uh, last two games, he snapped out of it. He got back to his old self, 23 and 24. Uh, 11 points a game, last two, 12, 13 rebounds. So, uh, He's getting minutes. He's got, you know, the coaches backing him. Uh, snapped out of it, and he's playing well. So we'll give him a shot. He should be out there, and he should be able to go over this. Points and rebounds over 17 and a half. Derek left. All right, for this next play, we're going Derek Jones over two and a half rebounds. Uh, even money. Definitely a line shop. Got it at like minus 15, 115 other places. Let's hit this four out of five, the last five. Uh, last 10, 70 percent. Last 20, 75 percent for the year, 60. Uh, minutes dropped the last two games. But uh, even with them being that low, he cleared it. In one of them, the other game he had two. I expect uh, a lot of hustle from both teams. Uh, I was going to play his points over five and a half. He did clear it one game at Boston, the, uh, the first two, but uh, kind of decided to stay away from it. Uh, figured even if his shot's not falling, he should be able to get two and a half rebounds. So I'm going to go with it. Uh, if I decide to play anything else, I'll drop it in the community. But uh, Derek Jones over two and a half rebounds. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. For my new viewers, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on. Get my videos, my plays, my live bets. Uh, you have a little more time, I'm going to be dropping videos on how I get my bets and uh, just different tips, knowledge about sports betting. And if you could leave a comment, uh, write anything. The comments and the likes help get the video shared. It helps get them on that main page so people see them. And, uh, yeah, so I appreciate everyone. Thank you. Look out for them live bets. A lot of these lines are high, and during the game, they'll come down. And I'll drop them in there. Uh, all right, so we're going P.J. Washington rebounds over five and a half. I think I played this last game, and he shit the bed. He only had two. Uh, expect him for that not to happen again. Uh, last 10 games, 60. Last 20, 60. Head to head, 50 for the year, just about 60%. Uh, expecting just to have his normal game, uh, it's do or die. So the effort and the energy has to be there. Should go over this. For him missing it last game, it went down and odds changed a little. So it kind of helped us out. Uh, good value. I expect him to go over it. PJ Washington over five and a half. Yeah, uh, another play I liked was uh, Josh Green. Rebounds over two and a half. They got a plus 122 on FanDuel. Uh, get away, you can. Always line shot for the best odds, the best lines. He's gone over this uh, three out of the last five. Head to head, 71% for the year, 53. Uh, usually play his, his over a half of three. High hit rate for the whole year. Uh, missed it last game. We hit it the game before. Uh, just going to stay away from it now. This finals has been killing me. I've been playing too many bets and stuff. Um, definitely going to need to hustle. 
He's playing, uh, averaging almost 19 minutes these last five games. He's staying out of foul trouble. He's getting uh, almost five rebound chances. As you see the last two games, five, six. Uh, three defense. He's getting offense and defensive rebounds. So he's out there hustling. The coach keeps him in. He, even though he's not a high scorer, he plays good defense. And, uh, Hopefully he'll keep it up and he'll get this. Uh, I'd like to tell everyone I appreciate your time, your efforts, and uh, you know the ups and downs, the sports betting, emotional roller coaster happens. But uh, Ace Money, the name, and paper the game. Let's get it. <laughs>